The Open Geospatial Consortium is a collaborative international forum focused on developing standards that improve the world's ability to share spatial data. To advance the United States President's Climate Data Initiative, the OGC committed to enabling open access to climate information using open standards. The work in Testbed 11 was developed across four threads and addressed the challenge of integrating spatial or location information when a population is displaced due to coastal inundation. When a flood is predicted, emergency managers run a number of simulation models to help understand what might happen. Operators can interact with these models via web services, accessing and validating the results. Because critical data needs to be shared securely, the geo for neem thread demonstrated how to integrate government security standards where classified information is involved. When each user makes a request, it is intercepted and checked in a policy enforcement point that filters the data based on the user's role. Aviation data models ensure that complex data is encoded to enable delivery of critical information to pilots and operators regarding changes, construction, closure of runways, and weather conditions while they're in the air. OGC standards that support cross-community interoperability allow all of these threads to collaborate, solving semantic issues. The testbed advanced several OGC standards by defining a common set of implementation guidelines, leveraging social media, linked data, semantics, and mediation to bridge communities' different information models and symbologies. It does very little good for you to, to build a project or a program that uh, only works for you, where you can't possibly share your data or information with anybody else or access their data and information. We often provide a small component in a workflow to deliver a system solution and it wouldn't happen if interoperability is not a critical requirement in this workflow. We're trying to execute a national strategy to improve information sharing and interoperability across the country on really important Homeland Security, national security missions. And these tools have direct relevance to fulfilling that mission. But they have real, real issues on the ground. Your local police, your, um, yeah, your water authority, uh, public works, uh, law enforcement, all of these organizations have serious issues to deal with. They have interoperability challenges. And if we uh, use our testbed process to model uh, their issues with industry, uh, we can create the standards and the solutions they need. We can help them help themselves, and the outcomes will then be of global benefit. So how does this all work in practice? Utilizing climate research data from NASA, DOD, USGS, NOAA, and many other organizations, our scenario is set 10 years in the future. With the predicted sea level rise of 1.7 meters along the California coast, a potential maximum flood incident in the San Francisco Bay could see coastal water levels elevated by an additional 5 meters during storms. Emergency managers run simulation models and communicate via OGC web services with easy-to-use interfaces. In our case, one simulation uses the output from another model, as well as other data sets, including high-resolution LiDAR data. Users are able to easily set the level of detail required for their needs. Meanwhile, a team of Public Works personnel are in the field, verifying the status of manhole covers to prevent the unplanned overflow of wastewater. Using their mobile devices, they're able to synchronize their geo-packaged data via Bluetooth. The team can sync with various enterprise systems back at the office, even though the system's database schemas differ. The data is then published via an open web service, ensuring other key organizations can access it. A user searches for the best evacuation route as the floodwaters move inland. A routing service provides several alternate routes, as well as providing the current flood level on the road. Route choices are validated from a variety of social media observations that have been harvested and analyzed using OGC services. The user can also drill down into the individual posts, such as pictures of wave-battered beaches. I was excited to learn about test beds today. It's gonna to give me a tool in what I do to help paint the picture for the future of how we can exercise and leverage all of the great 21st century technologies that are out there and then be able to build our business operational procedures to be able to leverage those technologies. Coastal inundation also affects the ports. The port authority needs to evaluate cargo traffic to ensure safe arrivals and departures. 
Typically, a common source of data is shared via information exchanges across different jurisdictions as well as between users with different clearance levels. A U.S. Coast Guard officer queries the notice of arrival message. He can see classified information that is critical to his mission, such as cargo type and volume. He has security clearance and a role that gives him access to all the vessel tracking documents. A GIS analyst is in charge of route analysis. She uses real-time data to model different routing scenarios. To accomplish her task, she doesn't need to see the type of cargo, just where the vessel will dock. Their jobs are difficult and critical during a flood event. They depend on many other players who are updating the diverse data sources that are being queried. Filtering that data based on user roles and geographic location is possible thanks to OGC standards-based solutions. I've watched this movie from a bunch of different perspectives, and everybody says interoperability and goes, has a cup of coffee. What this test bed's really about is getting the science community to connect with the outcome community, and when that happens, real work takes place because we drive understanding, understanding cross-domain, understanding cross-company, understanding cross-country. In particular, I was impressed with the application of secure access control, because this has been been a tough nut for a lot of organizations to crack and I believe the engineering pattern I saw demonstrated has a potential for other people to reapply it in other problem sets and reap the benefits of that solution. At the same time the storm is wreaking havoc in California, a commercial flight crew are preparing to depart from Charles de Gaulle Airport in France for San Francisco. Even though the information system in Europe is different to North America, OGC services enable the crew to access the necessary details of the airport in San Francisco. While their flight is underway, a digital NOTAM, or Notice to Airmen, is issued. Their runway is now closed. An aviation client can view the notice in its textual format, but without the correlating airport baseline data, the notice cannot be portrayed visually. Using a D-NOTAM enrichment service that enhances the airport baseline data, the pilot can visualize the situation on the ground. When you work with other companies is how sometimes we interpret a standard differently. Uh, you know, we may interpret it one way and another company interprets it a slightly different way. And that provides you the benefit to really zero in on what inside of that standard, how it should be properly interpreted. So when you have multiple companies dealing with it like that, you have to work together to come to a consensus. So, and that moves the standard forward. As a small business, the test beds essentially level the playing field for us. Without the OGC test beds, we wouldn't have been able to make the impact that we have on the aviation industry, let alone participate. As the storm gets worse, the medical center has lost power and their generator is down. They request assistance from the National Guard to coordinate air ambulance evacuation for patients. In order to set up a temporary airport, an operator with the National Guard visualizes buildings, vertical obstructions, and refueling stations using a simple aviation feature schema called AFX. Now the National Guard is also looking to set up a flight path for an air ambulance pilot to evacuate patients to a different hospital. The pilot configures his electronic flight bag using a standard ontology service that matches symbology to user communities and selects the aviation light community style that portrays data best for daylight viewing. They quickly spot a few temporary helipads and refueling stations. The National Guard creates a flight path for air ambulance pilots, noting the presence of a few vertical obstacles that will need to be avoided. As the situation on the ground gets darker, the users switch to aviation dark community style, which provides optimal contrast while working at night. OGC services help other pilots continue to operate using different electronic flight bags, thanks to a consistent and standard encoding of symbol information. 120 participants from 29 organizations and eight sponsors work together on Testbed 11. These solutions improve interoperability, help to save lives, and make our world a better place. The results are captured in a variety of forms, including engineering reports, change requests, schemas, and functional components. 
Test beds are crucial for demonstrating how a range of technologies can be used together. And that really moves us away from that old model of everything coming from one big supplier. And it gives the customer the chance to trust a range of individual components. Test beds give us the evidence that the standards actually work in day-to-day -day life. The lasting benefit of participating in a test bed are the lasting uh, partnerships that we make with other OGC member companies. In the standards community, we work in committees, we work on paper. In test beds, we're in a sandbox. We don't know the outcome when we start, we think we do, and we shape it. Uh, and we often achieve results that are spectacular in, in a short amount of time, uh, with a collaborative effort between industry and users, and in a way where the outcome is extremely meaningful for the communities that need these standards. One of our greatest obstacles is figuring out how to field harden technologies for the end user, especially the cop on the street or the firefighter. One of the things I'm excited about seeing is how we can move the test beds into the next phase of developing pilots to be able to operationalize those technologies. We invite you to become part of future OGC test beds, either as a sponsor or a participant. We look forward to working with you to improve how the world shares its geospatial information. Thank you.